Hey, good morning. It's Jane for Coffee Chat Time and Heather. Hi. Do you are, where's your coffee? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> coffee cheers, Coffee Chat Time. We're um, excited to be here. Today, we really wanted to talk about self-compassion and how to win your day. And we just think it's really important during this time of what we're all going through to treat yourself really good and have have compassion, right? And celebrate the small wins. Did yeah. you get dressed? Did you get out of your pajama <laughs> bottoms? <laughs> the small wins, exactly. Yeah, that's what it's about because we're going through so much and and when you talk about how to win your day, it's a it's not always a big win. It doesn't have to be this huge thing. It can be like Heather says, just did you get dressed today? Because it's what you're capable of doing on that particular day. And, and there's a lot of heavy stuff going on. So yeah, you know. some days your standards are a little bit lower than than other days. And that's the part what, that we want to tell you, talk to you about like the, to be compassionate towards yourselves. Yeah. Did you like, win today yet? You tell your good girl, what would you tell your good girlfriend? You know, you'd, you'd be compassionate to her. You need to extend the same thing to yourself. Yeah. How you, yeah, I know how you would talk to your girlfriend and yeah. how you'd say like, you know, good job. You did good today. You got out and went for a walk or yeah. And giving yourself a pat on the back. So even today, you know, we, I've been, I find it hard sometimes to get up early, 5, 20, I try. Lately, I've been pushing it and not feeling as good. So today I was like, no, I'm getting up no matter what, what at 5, 20. And so that was a win for me today. I did it. I got up early, went downstairs, had an hour to myself. So I take that as a win, right? Right. And so, and for me, I did the opposite. I set my alarm. I still set it. And I got up at 7. Because I knew I needed to get, um, I needed some extra sleep. So today, um, my self-compassion was about realizing that I needed, like I said, needed a little bit of extra sleep. Um, it's self-care Sunday. I got up and instead of working out, I did a yoga class. Um, so, yeah. And so it's, it's, it's different for everybody. I right? like that self hashtag self care Sunday. Yeah. Or, or hashtag Sunday self care. Yeah. Yeah. Which so Heather great. and I are, um, we actually are in a Facebook group with Brene Brown. It's a book club and there's a book called the gifts of imperfection. <laughs> and that's kind of where the self compassion came from, right? The Brene Brown and her book. And yeah, yeah. she has a bunch of guideposts. I think that there's 10. Um, and if you're just like, if you don't even know who Brené Brown is, she is a shame researcher. And she's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. The things that we don't want to talk about, those actually are impacting our lives. And it's okay. Um, but you do need to talk to someone about that and share those things with people that you can trust. Um, yeah. Hear yeah. your story, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the we, well, you found the Brené Brown Book Club, didn't you? Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's really, it's really good. And she, she's amazing. And so I know there's, you want to read a quote or something, didn't you on self-compassion? Oh yeah. And I read a lot of quotes, but yeah. yeah like, so how about the, the first one. Okay. Okay. Read it. A moment of self-compassion can change your entire day. A string of such moments can change the course of your life. It's amazing because it's and it is it's the little things you do every day over a long period of time that will change your life. So if because some people think, oh, you know, they might do something for a couple of days or a week. No, it's what you do every day over a long period of time, how you treat yourself, how you talk to yourself. And and I think it's important if you have trouble um, even remembering to to talk nice to yourself. Right. Right. With a dry erase marker on your bathroom mirror it's so powerful you write uh i'm good enough or today is going to be a great day or you're beautiful whatever you want to write on your bathroom mirror you will see it right and it gets in, into that practice of talking nice to yourself i love that do you write on your bathroom mirror yeah because you gave me um a marker 
<laughs> oh, I forgot. Usually it's um the current one is keep going. I can do it. Oh, that's good. Keep I going. have today is going to be a great day on mine. Um, and that's that's one I like to say every day. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, because I've been writing on my bathroom mirror for a couple of years now, <laughs> and when I was going through not a good time, Ed would, my husband would come home from a trip and he'd walk into the bathroom and he'd see the mirror and he'd be like, uh oh, it would say, I am important or something. <laughs> and he would be like, uh oh, hope she had a good weekend. I used to use lipstick, um, but um, thank you for the marker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's good. And then the um, part about that we're going to talk about, about that winning, um, winning your day, there's a documentary on Netflix called by Brene Brown's documentary. It's called to Courage. Uh, you've watched it, right, Heather? Oh, yeah, like a couple of times. Yeah, it's if you haven't watched it, um, whoever's out there, if you haven't watched it, you should, because it's so good. And you could watch it with your husband, even though mine hasn't watched it yet. Um, but I think men would like it because she's funny and she's just real. And she talks about, yeah, the importance of the small wins. And I just think it's super powerful. So whether you uh, eat healthy, maybe one day you're like, I just ate healthy all day. Um, that's a win. Or if you talked positive to yourself all day, that's a win. Or if you forgave someone or forgave yourself, these are all wins. So yeah. don't just or not even smaller. It. You could be like, I ate a vegetable today. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. It could be smaller like, than need, itself. Like I think sometimes we have these huge lofty goals and, and, and we look up at them and we're like, Oh, and you're barely like, let's be real. None of us are hitting our goals right now. Like things are, <laughs> it is, okay. My side of the fence here, it's, it's chaos, okay? Yeah. So I ate a vegetable today on my way to my healthy eating goal. Like be kind, right? So part of self-compassion, there's actually three elements um, to self-compassion. And the first one is self-kindness. Oh. Which we talked about. Being kind, kind of, mm -hmm. to yourself, right? The same okay, that way that you would one. be kind to a small child, to your little grandson or whatever that comes over and what, it, you know, it was just his birthday, wasn't it? Yeah, I you know. He's adorable. Love right? him. So what's the, the, okay, what are the three? Self-kindness? What's the second Self -kindness, one? Self-kindness, um, common humanity. We are all in this together, Okay. We're not together, but we're all in it together. So yes. common humanity, right? Um, and then the third one, I know I got it. Oh, mindfulness. Mindfulness. So, and it doesn't yeah. just mean that you have to be in a positive mindset. It means um, like, tr like, I guess, a attempting to achieve that positive mindset, but also keeping yourself um, from dipping too far into the negative mindset and right. staying there because right. We, we, I think we talked about it before when you get into like that negative mindset, um, the stuff in your, that neural pathway in your brain, it's like a deep groove. Yeah. Yeah. A deep groove. Like when you're stuck in the mud, when you're yeah. out mud bogging, yeah. deep groove, you got to get out of it. So that's what the mind, the third one is the mindfulness part. Yeah. I was listening to um, an interview with Jewel the other day, and it was so amazing. And she talked, because she had such a tough life, and she talked about how she was homeless and then she had all these bad, like negative thoughts. And, and she started to re or understand that the mind is a habit mind and that you can get hooked. If you can get hooked on negative behaviors yeah. and thoughts, you can get hooked on positive negative mm. you can get hooked on positive behaviors and thoughts it's it's, it's the same thing we have that person we have that in our brains to create habits so why not make them positive instead of negative i thought that is so powerful we tend to go easier to the negative habits but you can you can get hooked on the positive right oh yeah. that's what we all want to do anyway. yes i like that i yeah. love it yeah so yeah so we hope everyone can win their day and just take what we're going through one day at a time. Oh, there might be more. There's just a little tiny bit more. Is oh, that okay? Okay, go for it. Yeah, read it. 
Okay, so um, in in her book, um, she has, like I said, the 10 guideposts, and the one that we're working on right now is guidepost two, self, self-compassion. Um, there is a self-compassion scale um, that we'll put the link in, um, well, Jane will put the link in, in the, the comments. comments. Um, and you can actually um, sort of, it's a short test, it's a test, but it's a good test. And it, you can just kind of figure out like, um, like, you know, like, where do you do in those three elements that we talked about, right? The self-kindness, the common humanity, and yeah. the uh, mindfulness. Because then you kind of know, hey, where are you, you know, when you're working on yourself. The other thing is, there's a, a line from a Leonard Cohen song, um, the anthem song. And it serves as a reminder that when you get to a place where you're trying to control stuff and trying to make everything perfect, because we know that's not happening right now. <laughs> This is, here's the line. We're out of control. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Oh, is that from the song? Yes, from Leonard Cohen's song. There's, a, mm -hmm. there's a crack in everything. That's how the there's, light gets in. That is correct. Mm -hmm. totally love that. So totally it's, love that. it, and she says that the line helps her remember the beauty of the cracks, the messy house, the imperfect manuscript, and the too tight jeans. It reminds us that our imperfections are not inadequacies. They are reminders that we're all in this together, imperfectly, but together. That's so good, Heather. Isn't that powerful? That is so powerful. Because the Thanks for letting me read that. I know, oh no, it's awesome. But you think about the word compassion too. Com compassion is knowing that we all are connected and feeling for other people, right? You feel with them. So all of us are going through this. So it's having compassion. Yeah. The whole Emp all connected. empathy, empathy, feeling with someone, not for them. Yeah. It's uh, empathy. I wish I wrote this down. You say empathy is the skill set that brings compassion to life. I'm like, true. Oh, I wrote that one down too. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, look. Oh, we're on the same page, sister. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Someone put, someone put <laughs> love your natural <laughs> Well, wow. Oh, look, someone, someone wrote us a little note. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, I guess yeah. we'll be... What are we going to talk about next week? I, I keep hoping we're going to be talking about it in the same room. <laughs> yeah, I know. One day we'll be back together. Okay, let's say cheers. Say goodbye. Thank you to everyone for watching. Coffee chat Thank time. You. Sunday self-care, people. Sunday self-care. Okay, bye. We'll put bye. that in the link. Wait, you're not cheering me. Oh, cheer. That's really hard because it's opposite. <laughs> not coordinated. <Bye. laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs>